starting with a flexible repayment plan of up to 60 months and enjoy a two-month repayment holiday. Call us today on 0703-095-445 or visit any of our family bank branches and Simbacorp dealers and branches countrywide. Terms and conditions apply. Family Bank, with you for life. Family Bank is regulated by the Central Bank of Kenya. Hey guys, so I'm about to head out to meet the girls. As you know, this is the outfit of the day. We're about to go out and we're going to... We're going to meet the girls. And Sona moja imetengenezwa kwa njia speciali ili kupambana na maumivu kwa haraka. Sona moja ina aspirin kama kiungo. Sona moja kitulizo kamili. Maumivu ya kizidi pata ushauri wa daktari. Want to go shopping or fuel your car? You need a safe payment solution. Tap to pay with your Visa contactless card. Sasa maisha ni kutap. To pay, just look out for the contactless symbol on your card and at the cashier. Simply tap your card on the payment machine and in seconds your transaction is done. From time to time, you may be required to enter your PIN. Visa. Safe. Fast. Secure. Taking pride in constructing tomorrow's skylines. Adding strength to Kenya's landmarks. Presenting the power for specialized constructions. Cementing the nation's future. Simba Cement, the strength and pride of Kenya. Now also produced in Nakuru and Mombasa. Tangu nianza kutumia Pika Cooking Oil hata kabla sijaanda chakula kila mtu atakakuonja ni kuongeza zingine trying to kill me your memory was erased your mind was implanted with a life you think you've lived oh and by the way you haven't even begun to see me trying to kill you get in i've been looking for you everywhere Access up to 95% financing with a flexible repayment plan of up to 60 months and enjoy a two-month repayment holiday. Call us today on 0703-095-445. Family Bank, with you for life. Are you worried about the weather ruining your new roof? Are you running out of budget to build your roof? Don't worry, Royal Mabati Factory has you covered. Live it free of charge as fast as possible. You can also use our Lipa Pole Pole offer to buy your Mabati and pay in easy monthly installment. Royal Mabati Factory. We are the best. Hi everyone. Welcome to the ITEL online launch. My name is MC Jesse. And we'd like to tell you more about the ITEL brand. New ITEL. S T series. 6.3 dot notch screen. AI 72.3 gallery door. 2GB data bundle. ITEL TV. The earbuds. IFB 11. Super smooth power. The extension screen. Let's join ITEL.
This is MTV. Jambo mtazamaji na tumai ubuheri wa afya siku hii ya Jumanne siku ambayo wengi walisubiri sana kusikiza hotuba ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuhusu masharti mapya kuzuia maambukizi ya homa ya corona nchini. Rais Kenyatta ameongeza muda wa kafu kwa siku sitini zaidi kuanzia saa 5 usiku na kwa waliotamani baadhi funguliwe na jua sasa wanatabasamu. Ni moja ya taarifa tulizo kuandalia leo kwenye meza ya NTV lakini kwanza tupate vipasho. It is we the political class especially that is leading the charge in defying laid down protocol. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ongeza muda wa kafi kwa siku sitini kuanzia saa 5 usiku huku akiamuru baadhi funguliwe. We are very happy because there is a possibility even the schools will open. Learning institutions therefore should only be reopened when we have and can sufficiently guarantee the safety of all our children. Walimu na wasimamizi wa shule watii agizo la kurejea shuleni huku wakijitahidi kusafisha tayari kuwakaribisha wanafunzi. Nina furaha moyoni mwangu. Nina furaha, nina furaha ambayo haina kipimo. Nina furaha siku ya leo kwa sababu ya mbunge wangu. Hatimaye mbunge wa Sirisi ya John Waluke aliyehukumiwa miaka 67 gerezani achiliwa kwa dhamana kisubiri rufaa kwa mwiliwa. Itikitano tuliambiwa ni corona. Na sasa corona iliisha. Tunashaga kwa nini kwa kaunti yetu bado imekoma. Na wahudumu wa matatu wa Zua Tafrani na Kuru wakilalamikia vituo vya maegesho huku mbunge akitiwa mbaroni kwa kuchachawiza polisi. Mbashara kutoka Jumba la Nation. Hii ni NTV Jioni na Nuru Abdulaziz. Na mkaribu sana mtazamaji mwenzangu wa ishara ni David Agondoa tukianza taarifa zetu Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ameamuru kuongezwa kwa kipindi cha kafyu kwa siku sitini zaidi ila utekelezaji umesongezwa kutoka saa tatu hadi saa tano usiku aidha Rais ameamuru kufunguliwa kwa baa hadi saa usiku ila amesema shule hazitafunguliwa kiholela bila kuzingatia usalama na funzi Rais alisema hayo leo katika kongamano la kitaifa la kutathmini hali ya Kenya tangu kuanzia kwa janga la corona. Seth Olale na taarifa hiyo. Rais Kenyatta alikuwa amekutana na wadau wa sekta tofauti wakiwemo mawaziri, magavana na wakuu wa taasisi za kisiasa, wafanyikazi na mashirika ya umma katika jumba la KICC. Mkutano huo ulinuiwa kutathmini hali ya taifa tangu kuchipuka kwa janga la corona na kutoa mwelekeo wa siku za usoni na alipotoa taarifa yake rais alikuwa na haya kuhusu kafyu that the nationwide curfew enforced throughout the territory of the Republic of Kenya is extended for a further 60 days Two, that the commencement time for the nationwide curfew is varied from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Therefore, therefore, effective tomorrow, Tuesday, the 29th of September, 2020, the nationwide, curf the nationwide dust to dawn curfew will run from 11 o'clock at night to 4 o'clock in the morning. 
Lakini pengine kilichokuwa kimesubiriwa kwa hamu kubwa ni hatma ya sekta ya burudani na ba. Ba sasa zitafunguliwa hadi saa usiku. Closing time for all bars and restaurants and eateries shall be 10 p.m. every day with effect from the 29th of September 2020 and their operations shall be with strict adherence to the applicable guidelines and protocols issued by the Ministry of Health. Hata hivyo tarehe rasmi ya ufunguzi wa shule haijatangazwa. The lives of our children and their health is not a matter for debate. Learning institutions therefore should only be reopened when we have and can sufficiently guarantee the safety of all our children. Huku utekelezaji wa kanuni za kupambana na maambukizi ya corona ukiendelea, Rais ameelekeza kidole cha lawama wanasiasa. We thank Kenyans, but it is we, the political class especially, that is leading the charge in defying laid down protocol. Wakenya umetakiwa kuwa katika mstari wa mbele kwenye vita dhidi ya virusi vya corona ili kukomesha idadi ya maambukizi nchini. Seth Olale NTV Nairobi. Na mtazamaji pia rais amezungumzia ufunguzi wa shule lakini taarifa hiyo tutaangazia tu baadaye tukiendelea polisi walilazimika kutumia vituo machozi kutawanya wahudumu wa matatu katika mji wa Nakuru baada ya madereva na makondakta kufunga baadhi ya barabara mjini wakitaka serikali ya kaunti kurejesha vituo vya magari katikati ya mji wanadai biashara zao zimezorota tangu vituo vyao kuhamishwa kutoka ndani ya mji Ruth Sarmwe anafafanua zaidi ni kukuruka kara mjini Nakuru wakati wa hudumu wa matatu walioshirikiana na baadhi ya wajasirimali wakiandamana kudhihirisha ghadhabu yao. Vituo vya magari vilihamishwa kutoka maeneo ya katikati mwa mji huu hadi viungani kufuatia chipuko la ugonjwa wa COVID-19 mwezi Machi. Sira magari niliotoroa huku town kusema ukweli sisi wanyonga tumetabika kwa sababu Atujui kini kabisa kabisa kumaanisha gari sipeleko penye siko. Tugeelesewa ni nini? Tulijua tulichikitoroa tuliambiwa ni corona. Na sasa corona iliisha. Kila kaunti mambo yote imerudi laini. Tunashaga kwa nini kwa kaunti yetu bado imekoma. Hatua hiyo ilinuiwa kupunguza msongamano wa watu katikati mwa mji ili kuzuia kusambaa kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Lakini wahudumu hao hawaridhishwi na mazingira hayo Mari wana bebe is horrible. Hakuna usafi, hakuna choo. Hakuna hata wakati mvue kinyesha, hakuna mahali watu wanachufunika mvua. Hakuna mahali watu wanachufunika wakati ya ya chua. Hakuna security. Gavana wa Nakuru Lee Kinyanjui kupitia mtandao wake wa Facebook alieleza kuwa hatua ya wahudumu hao kufanya mgomo ilichukuliwa bila kuzingatia mashauriano kwani serikali yake ina mpango wa kujenga vituo vya kisasa vya matatu gavana alisema shilingi milioni mia moja zimetengwa tayari lakini wahudumu hao hawasikii la maudhini wala la mtekamaji msikitini we have been telling the governor that he, he makes this place habitable uh, kwa sababu ukiangalia wakati mvua imenyesha wakina mama wanaingia kwa matatu wanaingia ndani ya gari ku zaidi tunataka kuanza gari inakuwa Baadaye mbunge wa Nakuru Mashariki David Gikaria alikamatwa na polisi baada ya kuzua kizaza katika ofisi ya kamanda wa polisi walipokuwa akishauriana na maafisa wa usalama. Ruth Sarmoi NTV Nakuru. Mbunge wa Sirisi ya John Waluhe na mshtakiwa mwenzake Grace Wahungu wameachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni kumi na milioni ishirini mtawalia jaji John Oyengo wa mahakama kuu aidha amewataka wawili hao kuwasilisha vieti vya usafiri ili kuhakikisha hawataondoka nchini Waluhe na Wakungu wamekuwa kurokoroni tangu juni baada ya kupatikana na hatia ya kuhusika katika kashfe ufisadi kwenye bodi ya NCPB 
Wewe na shangwe za wakazi wa eneo bunge la Sirisia baada ya kupokea habari za kuachiliwa kwa dhamana kwa mbunge wao John Waluke. Yeye kufunguliwa kwake tunajua kwamba hakika amekuwa shujaa na yeye ataongoza Sirisia constituency bila mwaka yoyote hadi tunachokuwa mwingine. Nina furaha moyoni mwangu. Nina furaha nina furaha ambayo haina kipimo. Nina furaha siku ya leo kwa sababu ya mbunge wangu kwa sababu ya mbunge wa sirisha tulikuwa tumemumis tulikuwa tumemkosa tulikuwa tumekosa maendeleo yake kwa hivyo nataka kusema kwa sababu ya mheshimiwa meja sirisha tunaendelea sirisha tunasonga waluke ambaye amekuwa korokoroni tangu juni amepata afueni ya muda baada ya mahakama kuu kupitia jaji John Onyengo kumpa uhuru kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni kumi huku mshukio mwenzake Grace Wakungu akiachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni ishirini. The upshot of it all is that the applicants have met the threshold for grant of bail pending appeal and the interest of justice tilts in their favor. Washikio hao wawili aidha wametakiwa kuwasilisha vieti vya usafiri makamani ili kuhakikisha hawataondoka nchini wakati kesi yao ikiendelea. Jaji Onyego hata hivyo amesema iwapo wawili hao watakosa kulipa dhamana au bondi naibu msajili wa mahakama ataitajika kuhakikisha watasalia salama mikononi mwa mahakama. Waluke na wakungu wanakabiliwa na mashtaka ya ubadhirifu wa shilingi milioni tatu za wagizaji wa mahindi katika almashauri ya NCPB kupitia kampuni yao ya Erad General Supplies. Mwezi Juni wawili hao walitakiwa kulipa faini ya shilingi milioni saba kwa kupatikana visa kadhaa vya ufisadi. Aidha walikuwa wamehukumiwa kifungo cha miaka saba gerezani ila wamekata rufaa wanayosubiri kujua uamuzi wake makamani. Jean Gweri NTV na mtukie chana na hayo kamati ya bunge usalama wa kitaifa imeshtumu hatua ya mrengo wa tanga tanga ya kupinga awamu ya pili ya kuandikisha huduma namba inajiri baada ya wabunge wanaoegemea upande wa naibu wa rais William Ruto kupinga awamu ya pili ya usajili wa huduma namba wakidai kuna njama ya kuitumia kuiba kura Tangazo la Katibu wa Wizara ya Usalama ndani Karanja Kibicho la kufanywa kwa awamu ya pili ya usajili wa huduma namba kwa waliokosa duru ya kwanza na wanaohitajika kufanya marekebisho ya data yao limeibua hisia ya kinzani hasa miongoni mwa siasa. Wa hivi punde kupinga mpango huo ni wabunge wanaoegemea upande wa naibu wa Rais William Ruto almaarufu Tanga Tanga. We want to say and urge Kenyans that this is the time to institute civil disobedience against huduma namba lakini kamati ya bunge inaoshughulikia utawala na usalama wa kitaifa imeshtumu vikali hatua ya mrengo wa tanga tanga and this is not the time to beat the drums of war or violence because that is what the tanga tanga team is doing we know that the deputy president was number two in registering for the huduma and he applauded huduma at that particular time what is it that has changed It is unfortunate to hear people saying that we allocated 7 billion this year for huduma number when we know very clearly that it is 1 billion allocated to number one, complete the exercise of verification of the batch, first batch, so that the cards can be issued. Number two, to also continue with the registration of those that are yet to be registered. Kamati hiyo imetoa onyo kali kwa wale watakao jaribu kuzitisha shughuli hiyo usajili wa huduma namba kwa wakenya ambao hawakupata fursa hiyo katika awamu ya kwanza. We are watching you people. We are watching and we are going to name people. We are going to bring things out and we are not going to allow this country to be led into war again wabunge hao watanga tanga wanadai kuwa shughuli hiyo ya kusajili wa Kenya kupata huduma namba ni njama ya kuiba kura mwaka 2022 Huduma namba is, a, is, is supposed to replace the smaller databases that we already have in this country We have the ID cards we have NSA, NHIF cards we have driving uh, driving licenses all these are being corrupted into one Kama is not happy with the government let him leave 
there is no need unalia uko nje you want to incite people na huku ndani huko ndani ya serikali aidha kamati hiyo ya usalama imesema hatua hii ya usajili wa huduma namba itasaidia katika kuboresha maisha wa Kenya kwa kuhakikisha rasilimali zinatumika kwa njia inayofaa na mtazamaji taarifa hiyo inatupeleka mapumzikoni lakini hapa Quinto wa Fula anasema uhuru na magoha wanafaa kujua Kenya sio wajinga na anasema wafai kuchezea mchezo kama huo anasema magoha alisema kufikia tarehe 25 Septemba tutajua kwamba uh, iwapo kuna ufunguzi wa, wa shule tena leo nasikia mengine na job Kinuthia anasema naunga mkono ba kufunguliwa ni biashara ambayo huwa imeajiri watu wengi na familia zao pia zinahitaji riziki na rejea na taarifa zaidi The aerial guarantee. Asante sana. Sasa, ni nini kingine ambacho unaweza kumfanyia msichana wetu? Kila kitu, hata kufua nguo na aerial mpya. Basi, tuonyeshe. Hey, sasa fanya haya madoa, yawe sugu zaidi. Sasa tufue kwa kutumia sabuni yako na kutumia aerial mpya. Aerial, sasa inapatikana kwenye paketi mpya. Unaniamini sasa? Ariel huondoa madoa sugu kwa mosho mmoja. Ijaribu leo uamini. When the world changed, it made us go back to the simple joys and love the little things even more. Like serving up your best, eating together and sharing more. Now, oh, we'll take nothing for granted and always remember to taste the simple joys. Coca-Cola. Taste the simple joys. Happy anniversary! Mbona hii mabata kinadar na mamu? Mbado inaka mpya. Na inyo mimekuwa hapa for so many years. Na piu melele wapa? Wah! Imagine hata likuwa sija notice. Rufus, uwebe nifundi wangu wa meka mingi sana. Hai mabata ya tadumu kwedi? Huyu kijana nilimuambia anunue mabata ya dumu zas. Usibahatishe mabata. Hakikisha umeangalia alama za kudhibitisha dumu za halisi. Chagua dumu za mabati inayodumu kudumu, istoshe dumu za ndio mabati pekee inayokuja na warranty. Sitaki tena kubahatisha. Want to go shopping or fuel your car? You need a safe payment solution. Tap to pay with your Visa contactless card. Sasa maisha ni kutap. To pay, just look out for the contactless symbol on your card and at the cashier. Simply tap your card on the payment machine and in seconds your transaction is done. From time to time, you may be required to enter your PIN. Visa. Safe. Fast. Secure. Kwanza na kachai Tunasema mkate gani tamu zaidi Mwenye afya tele tena tosaidi Eya ke bado ni ile ile nafu Unapatika na karibu na wewe selekta Selekta, selekta, selekta Mkate ni selekta And now, selekta comes with free zesta jam For a limited period of time Sensitivity pain fast with Sensodyne Rapid Action for clinically proven relief in 60 seconds. Why are you trying to kill me? Your memory was erased. Your mind was implanted with a life you think you've lived. Oh, by the way, you haven't even begun to see me trying to kill you. Get in. I've been looking for you everywhere. 
Access up to 95% financing with a flexible repayment plan of up to 60 months and enjoy a two-month repayment holiday. Call us today on 0703-095-445. Family Bank, with you for life. Namshukran sana kwa kuendelea kuwa nasi wafanyakazi katika hospitali ya Kenyatta wamesema kuwa hawatarejea kazini hadi wapate marupurupu yao kauli hiyo inafuatia hatua ya tume ya mishahara nchini SRC kuzuia kutolewa kwa shilingi milioni na moja ambazo zilipaswa kuwalipa wafanyakazi hao kuanzia mwezi wa Julai mwaka huu malipo hayo yanaambatana na kupandishwa hadhi kwa hospitali hiyo kwa shirika la kiserikali mwaka wa 2012 Helen Aura ana taarifa kamili. Walionekana na bashasha huku wakinengua viuno ungedani mambo ni shwari. Lakini taswira siyo hiyo katika hospitali hii ya kitaifa ya Kenyatta. Wafanyikazi hao wamekataa kurejea kazini baada ya ilani yao ya siku saba kuisha. What is the relationship between job evaluation and seven which was given in the year 2012? So this is not a matter of requesting. This is a matter of demanding. Lakini wapigana hapo fahali wawili ziumeazo ni nyasi na vuta ni kuvute kati ya tume ya SRC na huduma wa afya ikiendelea. Wanaoteseka ni wagonjwa wanaokosa huduma. Hii ilionekana leo baada ya mgonjwa kufariki katika maegesho ya hospitali hiyo. Inadaiwa kuwa mgonjwa huyo alifika akiwa hali mahututi na alichelewa kupata huduma ya haraka huku wa hudumu hao wa afya wakiwa wameandamana. Kumfikisha nje kuendea kitanda ikiwa na mabeste yangu at least tumpeleka kwa daktari tukaendea kitanda kurudi daktari akatuona tukipepa kitanda akatuambia kitanda ni ya nini na madaktari wamegoma tukarudisha kitanda kuja nje kutoka saa mbili asubuhi tukakaa hapa nje kitu saa ina na nusu hivi nikaona jamaa alikuwa amepaka food ya weights kafikilia ule ni daktari kwenda kuongea na yeye tukaongea ya na yeye ya nyumbani sae akanihurumia nikamuulizia unaweza nisaidia aje kuhusu best yangu ndio nimeambiwa madaktari wamegoma akaniambia takushungulikia wao sijari kaenda ndani akakuja na kitu kalikuwa kawaiti hivi kuweka kwa masikio hivi kushungulika kuweka kwa masikio hivi akaniambia eh best naweza kusaidia lakini uko too late and the professional practice comes with the good will from the government you know katika mwaka wa 2012 hospitali ya Kenyatta ilipandishwa hadhi kuwa shirika la kiserikali. Hali iliyopandisha vyeo vya wafanyikazi kutoka daraja la tatu cha hadi 7A. Hivi leo wakuwa vyama vya KMPDU, Kenan na Kudhaihe walienda kushiriki mazungumzo huku wakitaka tume ya SRC na washikadao tofauti kwa hutubia lakini mkutano huo uliambulia patupo. Honorable Mwikai Uhuru Kinyata, yes. we beseech you as the workers of Kinyata National Hospital yes. to look into our plight yes. and use your executive powers yes. to alleviate this problem. Yes. Give the executive directive to Kenyatta National Hospital to effect payment. Yes. Your Excellency, you have those powers. We cannot have one institution within government believing that it is above all other institutions. Na huu mchezo wa paka na panya na SRC. For the longest time possible, SRC has been frustrating public sector workers. You cannot say that you are not going to be involved in negotiations but on the back end you're the one who's giving the prescription on what needs to be paid Katika barua iliyoandikwa na hospitali ya Kenyatta wasimamizi watatoa fedha hizo mwezi ujao baada ya SRC kufanyia mabadiliko ya uamuzi wao wa awali Hata hivyo wahudumu wa afya wamesema kuwa hawatarejea kazini hadi watakapopokea pesa hizo Helen Aura NTV na mtazamaji taarifa hiyo na tufikisha awamu ya pili ya NTV Jioni na rejea na taarifa zaidi.
Safari come call a 500 and be free kila siku. Get 500 MB free kila siku and never miss a moment. Dial star 544 hash to activate your offer. Browse Pilawas on Kenya's best network. Get fresh, gotta get fresh. Down is no boom boom pow, down is boom boom pow. Smell by an outcha fools in a zibita in the downy. Protect the goos and go na do key and it goes up. Lazima ni wa fresh, down is boom boom pow. Boom boom pow, down is no boom boom pow. Smell so ten as it boom boom pow, powerful freshness. Down is boom boom pow. Mini food. Naelewa chuma yangu fundi gani. Wini tulijua na 2010. Kila kasha kinipatia anajua kana tumenga chuma ya standard alidoshi. Chris ni food mzuri. Sina muri sanga hii chuma una shida ukisema doshi doshi. Ni chuma aina gani? Na dio hiyo akakuja kunitegenesia mlango naye akaniambia wini kuja uone. Hii dio chuma ya doshi. Kila mtu anapenda kitu smart. Kitegenesia mlango na chuma strong. Utakuwa ukirara usigisi nono. Security iko sawa na akili itulie. Jijenge na Doshi Steel. Chuma ya nguvu. Melissa? Mom, it's Dad's birthday today. I'm giving him a party just like he gives me. Nothing makes a mother more proud than seeing her child growing up. But I know that as she learns to care for others, she'll face even more germs and the risk of illnesses. That's why you need strong dental protection. Just one cup of dental protects your home and family from up to 100 illness-causing germs. Growing up needs dental protection. The Dettol range is available on Jumia. Shop safely and conveniently today. I help women find independence by training them in fish farming. Oh it's tough on my back, joints, and can cause headaches. Panadol Extra relieves multiple types of pain. Panadol Extra, now with new Optizop technology to fight multiple tough pains with three times more pain relieving medicine in the first 30 minutes when you need it most. Seeing them support themselves makes any pain worth it. If symptoms persist, seek medical advice. Karibu kwenye taarifa za sporti sifa za aliyekuwa mwanariadha mashuhuri wa Kenya katika mbio za masafa marefu Douglas Wakehori ni za kipekee. Mkenya wa kwanza kushinda taji la dunia la marathon, Mkenya wa kwanza kushinda New York Marathon, Mkenya wa kwanza kushinda marathon katika michezo ya jumuiya ya madola na Mkenya wa kwanza kupata nishani ya olimpiki katika marathon. Mwana habari wetu Aida Waringa alimhoji wa Kehero ambaye vile vile anajivunia sifa za kuwa mkenya wa kwanza kushinda London Marathon na kuandaa taarifa ifuatayo siku sita kabla ya mashindano hayo. Imeletwa kwako na mamlaka ya mawasiliano ya Kenya, miaka ishirini ya kueneza mawasiliano nchini Kenya. Douglas Wakehore anawelewa sio tu kukimbia katika London Marathon, bali pia kushinda mbio hizo. Mwaka elfu moja mia tisa themanini na tisa, Wakehore alikuwa mkenya wa kwanza kushinda London Marathon. Zaidi ya miongo mitatu baadaye, shuja huyo wa umri wa miaka hamsini na saba anaendelea kukuza vipawa vipia. Wakehori anasema ushindi wake London ulitokea wakati kulikuwa na ushindani mkubwa kati yake na aliyekuwa gwiji wa masafa marefu kutoka Djibouti Hussein Ahmed Sala. So my coach came and said uh, Douglas have you heard about the, the, the press conference I said no I have no idea he said no Salah is here to beat you I said fine I'm game 
wakati huo akiwa na umri wa miaka 24 wakihuri alimpiku sala kushinda taji la dunia la marathon mwaka 1987 jijini Roma kisha alipata nishani ya fedha katika olimpiki huko Seoul mwaka uliofuata huku sala akipata shaba Alipomaliza sekondari mwaka 1982 wakihore alihamia Japan kuendelea na mazoezi. The 10000 meters in Kenya is very competitive. So the coach decided that the only way to go to the Olympics is to try and challenge the marathon which was a bit easier than to to qualify because you were only required to run at two hours in 16 minutes because Japan is very good in in timekeeping and that for sure within the four years that I was there I got uh, the first gold medal for Kenya in the marathon Hivi sasa ana fahari ya kumfunza mke wa rais akijiandaa kwa Beyond Zero Nusu Marathon aidha ana matumaini kwamba Kenya itazidi kutamba katika London Marathon hata mwaka huu Let's go Kenya imeletwa kwako na mamlaka ya mawasiliano ya Kenya miaka ishirini ya kueneza mawasiliano nchini Kenya na mtazamaji na kwenye gazeti la taifa leo hapo kesho waziri Fred Matiangi leo ametekeleza majukumu ya naibu rais William Ruto baada yake kukosa kufika kwenye hafla ya rais eh, huku husu COVID-19 leo ni taarifa moja wepo huku katika gazeti la taifa leo kesho sikose na kala yako mtazamaji na kufikia hapa na tamatisha NTV jioni lakini kabla sijaondoka honorable fedha Moffat Anasema wengine wetu tulikuwa tumetarajia ufunguzi wa shule japo kumongezwa tena muda usiojulikana hadi wakati utakao tarajiwa na tazama nikiwa cheptulu vihiga na mwisho kabisa Lumasa Jackson anasema ningeomba serikali watoe kadi za huduma namba kwa wale tulijiandikisha awamu ya kwanza ndio wazungumzie marudio nikiwa biafra isli na mshukran sana mtazamaji kwa wote waliofanikisha taarifa hizi shukran sana na kwa kutazama shukran sana naitwa Nuru Abdul Aziz alamsiki mwenzangu wa ishara ni David Agondoa This is NTV. I help women find independence by training them in fish farming. Oh, it's tough on my back, joints and can cause headaches. Panadol extra relieves multiple types of pain. If symptoms persist, seek medical advice. Hello? Dude, United on fire. Right. Rashford is unstoppable. Tell me if DSTV Eddie. Do you know that I get more than 20 live matches on any given week from the best leagues in the world? La Liga, Serie A, the Champions League, the Premier League. Oh, what about that? Do you have Premier League? No, we don't have that. Eddie, if you're going to spend your money, spend it on the best football in the world. Dial star 423 hash to buy a DSTV HD decoder for only 1999 shillings. In Kenya, one in two children suffer from cavities. Brushing with pepsodent removes bacteria and repairs tiny holes before they become cavities. Because every smile matters. That is what this could be. Hiyote ni five acres. We are going to build the greenhouse for you, sell the produce, na pia tutagawana faida. 75%, 25%. You mean 75% uh, for me? Sign up a kwanza. First year yield itakuwa ni 67%. Na kuna taxes. taxes. Uh, you mean tax? Sign up na hapa. Uh, additionally, kuna 2% uh, facilitation fee na warehouse charges. Uh, sign up ya mwisho. And this is a short deal? Completely transparent. Okay. <laughs> If only all things in life were as honest as Airtel's amazing data. Get 500 MB free daily, 3.5 GB free weekly, and 15 GB free monthly with every bundle purchase. Not just for a few, but for every one of you. Switch to Airtel and save. The Honest Network.
NTV, turning on your world. The following program has been rated PG. It may contain scenes unsuitable for children under the age of 10. Top Story has become the most competitive, entertaining show on television. A team of three from 25 universities driven by the need to produce the top story. Stories that will change their lives. The winners of Top Story Season 3 will have a one-week sponsored study tour to Al Jazeera in Qatar. Last week, we looked back on the fond memories of Season 1 and 2 of Top Story before the corona pandemic. On today's show, we recap some of the moments in season three, one of them being the maiden trip aboard the SGR to Mombasa. <laughs> My SGR experience was one of one in a million of the best moments I've had since I was born, because this is the first time I'm born in a train. I mean, trains have been here since, since and before I was born, but I've never had the chance to even panda the ones that Vinali Pisho are 40 Bob Nairobi. What we are looking forward to most is to unlearn. The things maybe we, we, we learned wrong and then relearn yeah, and learn more new things. The SGR experience was just interesting and horrible at first because the sitting is not practical. Um, Ken is a tall guy, so of course we are feeling, hey, this guy is already tall. Uh, we want to switch seats because if you sat in the middle, then it will be very awkward because you're facing somebody else. But we figured it out. He sat at the aisle, so yeah, definitely not doing that again. <laughs> it was my first time. Most first times aren't. But this one was amazing because the team was so much fun. Everyone was talking, sharing stories. It was just interesting. The, the journey from Nairobi to Mombasa, everything was good. It's feeling really great. First of all, we started the journey without knowing people. We've known each other in the groups, but we hadn't put like the faces of the people. So, you know, we're halfway in the journey, like, oh my God, this is awesome. We're just chatting. Then somewhere we're like, by the way, we don't know each other's names. And that's when we started knowing each other's names. So it's been really an awesome experience so far. Mombasa County was the designated location for the Top Story Bootcamp, with its rich history that includes a Portuguese invasion, the presence of the Omani Arabs and the Indian settlers. The county provided a safe haven for the young investigative journalists training. From the onset, 25 universities from different parts of the country applied for a spot at the Top Story Academy, but only 17 made it through after a panel of judges reviewed their video submissions and picked the best. I was chosen to represent my school in this competition because of their nose. And I also believe that I was the best shot they had. The criteria for choosing the Top Story contestants was quite competitive. I'll be bringing my writing and researching skills to the table. And I'm, old. I'm really conflicted in my heart because I don't like breaking people's hearts. <laughs> that was painful to watch from every single facet for me. The sound was terrible. The weaving of the edit together just was, it did not make any sense at all. I believe in myself. Sound, 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 sound. <laughs> I cannot reiterate this more. Sound is not a stepbrother in video. Sound is a twin. I wish that they'd used a range of pay, you know, different kind of pace. That was a lazy, was a lazy <laughs> do of the school. How were the videos that I've just seen from a technical perspective? I am extremely disappointed in the Republic of Kenya as a whole. I tell stories to speak for the voiceless. Journalism is in the center of governance and social change. The devil is in the detail, and this is your own video. And Samuel, for example, his name was spelt Samuel at the beginning, and then Samuel, the second time it was spelt. If you can't even spell your, your own name right, you know, will you spell your guest's name right? Or, you know, so just pay attention to those little details. Yeah. Um, but if not, I thought it was, 
was okay. I was struck by the difference in the quality of the different entries. Some teams really, you could see, put in a lot of effort. And then some teams, and often of the bigger universities that you expected more, it felt like they didn't really take their time to work on their entries. I was chosen for Top Story because I am a good writer and editor. I articulate my issues well. And a competent interviewer with an eye for details. They were a bit creative with their, with their <laughs> beginning sh um, shots. 100% for originality and being funky and young, but I don't think that's what we are asking for. I don't <laughs> think that's what we're looking for. We're looking for uh, teams that can do investigative stories, new stories. It's not a competition for action, drama, movies where you see people, the reflection of sort of the three guys in the eyes. I don't know, I thought it was over the top. Just because you can do things doesn't mean you should do them. You use the spices based on what you're cooking. And this felt like um, somebody was making porridge with uh, pilau spices. What makes our university unique is the energy, authenticity, passion for everything that we do. It means a lot for us, if not the world, to represent Kisi University. If we are trained as upcoming journalists to tell stories from a convergent point of view, then we will train the next generation to tell stories better than what journalists are actually doing right now. We hope to garner experience that will help us to tell stories, but not only stories, real stories that will have an impact on society. I believe in my team's ability to meet deadlines and not just meet deadlines, but to meet deadlines comprehensively and give comprehensive results. What we expect from this competition is getting the necessary skills so that we can be able to impact the society in the best way possible. Kinacho fanya timu yangu kuwa bora ni kuwa. Tunaweledi katika masole ya video, kuripoti na katika uandishi wa habari. It's a place where students either win or learn. The word losing would be an insult. JQuart has about 200 journalism and mass communication students. The lecturers chose the three of us to represent the institution to win this year's title, and that's what we intend to do. After the cutthroat elimination and passionate introduction by the universities, the contestants were officially inducted into the Top Story Boot Camp. You have been chosen to come here because you are the best. You will be trained by some of the best journalists in this country, veteran uh, journalists, investigative journalists, senior editors who've spent years in the trenches. They will share their experiences with you. You too will become one of the best. We're starting with 51 students today, but by the end of this week, some of you will go home. It's always exciting to meet a mentor enthusiastic about the future of journalism. For the season, only the best were brought for the young lads. How do you frame the subject? Do you use the rule of thirds or do you place the subject at the center? Rule of thirds, isn't that a good frame? That is one of the ways that we would frame. If you place the subject eyes on any of these imaginary lines or frame them towards those lines, attention is drawn more towards that subject. What I'd like us to do now is have a look at what you guys did. Investigative journalism is never silent. It speaks, its volume is loud, and its outcome is outrageous. I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to take little bits and pieces. One, no attention was paid to detail on audio. The devil is in the detail. Nowadays, people will only watch and listen to what they feel is palatable. They have two billion options. So if your content is not interesting to look at and interesting to listen to, I'm out of there. Don't waste my time, okay? 
That is why I'm going to be brutal because I need you guys to be on the cutting edge of technical excellence when it comes to production. I'm not even going to care about the narrative, okay? You could be walking down the street with a paper bag on your head and no clothes on. As long as you shot it well, I will watch it. Some people do weird and wacky things, but they do them in a high-end quality and we end up watching them. True or false? What stood out for me during Ted's class was that it was very practical and he told it like it is. I like the realness and it gives me motivation to move forward. A very good morning, Kenya. My name is Joseph Farungo and... My name is Mary Nyokabi and welcome to our talk. Right here in the studio today, we've got the best entrepreneurs in Kenya. We've got... When we say the best, we mean... Safari call me color 500 and be free killer sip. Get 500 MB free killer sip and never miss a moment. Dial star 544 hash to activate your offer. Browse Pilawas on Kenya's best network. Jisot Nabonga is back and it's big. What's your style? Whether it's a phone with a great camera, a phone with all the latest apps, or just a phone with the right price to fit your pocket, we've got you. Jisot Nabonga Style Yako. By redeeming your bonga points for affordable smartphones at unbeatable prices at Safaricom shops and dealers countrywide or on masoko.com. Just dial star 126 hash, check your points balance, and go shopping. Shopping. Are you worried about the weather ruining your new roof? Are you running out of budget to build your roof? Don't worry, Royal Mabati Factory has you covered. Live it free of charge as fast as possible. You can also use our Lipa Pole Pole offer to buy your Mabati and pay in easy monthly installment. Royal Mabati Factory. We are the best. When the world changed, it made us go back to the simple joys and love the little things even more, like serving up your best, eating together and sharing more. Now, oh, we'll take nothing for granted and always remember to taste the simple joys. Coca-Cola, taste the simple joys. Last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. Brilliant kick, Joe Gay. From Mohammed Salah. Been chopping trees. I done something new for this fight. Bad. I'm going to show you how great I am. very thankful because uh, Equity Bank allowed us a moratorium of two years and uh, this has really sustained Optivin as an organization. Long live equity, we value Equity Bank. Do more to protect yourself and family from viruses that remain on the clothes. Separate laundry that has been exposed and do not shake to minimize the possibility of dispersing the virus through the air. Soaking your laundry in water and hand washing powder does more to kill germs than just a normal wash. After washing, dry your clothes in direct sunlight. They say we do the expected. We say we're more than you expect. Sunlight, more than you expect. to kickstart your smart and give your brain a mega boost with DSTV. <laughs> There's oodles of mind-blowing channels for kids young all together now. To get your knowledge workout, get connected to DSTV.
You have been chosen to come here because you are the best journalism students in Kenya. I am extremely disappointed in the Republic of Kenya as a whole. What makes our university unique is the energy. The season's theme was fake news. Being able to discern what is true and genuine is a skill that these young journalists would need for a successful career. The BBC's Richard Kagoe was there to take them through the paces. What, what comes to mind when you think about fake news? What do you think when you hear about fake news? The way fake news is designed, misinformation generally, it's supposed to be shared widely. So even when you look at the text, it will be very short, very juicy, and also the kind of images and the videos that they use. And basically, the end game of creating fake news is basically to persuade to people. The element of uh, fake news, misinformation, disinformation generally, they were able actually to relate to it. And now the challenge for me was to really help them appreciate why this should be a concern for journalists, why it needs to be mainstreamed. It's important for you now to fact check, verify, with not even just one source, but multiple sources. I'm sure you came across this. Can someone tell me something that just doesn't seem to add up about this picture? So basically the fake news is that that's not a Kenya number plate, so it's not in Nairobi. You just even don't need to be very sophisticated, go to reverse image search. Just this could be some of the pointers. And this is how actually you're able actually even to debunk and say, this picture is a genuine one. It was captured in Africa, but not specifically in Nairobi. So when you look even at the car plate, it basically gives it away. Someone else might argue then, this could be a foreign registered car which is in Nairobi. Then now that's when now you proceed and utilize fact checking or verification tools such like now reverse image search. And you can be able now to establish the authenticity of such images. Welcome, this is broadcast presentation, particularly television presentation. During one of the master classes, the contestants got an opportunity to tell their stories. This included a father and daughter bond. So when I was asked to talk about my best friend, the first person that clicked in my mind was my dad. My name is Grace Musungu and I am from Distra University and I'm going to present about my best friend. Everyone can be a father, but it takes special men to become dads. My best friend is my father. He was the first man I've ever known. And he's not my best friend because he was my father. He's my best friend because he has stood for me in moments where he didn't deserve to stand up for me, and he did it. Uh, from you guys, quick comments, two, three comments. How did she do? What did you observe? I loved her confidence. I loved your confidence and your presentation, but I think you'd minimize uh, the hand movements. I was looking at content. I was looking at confidence, and I was looking at presentation. You have confidence. Your content was superb, very well organized. When you're on TV, unless it's a religious show, you don't need to pray to God. Me, Nimefanyevi, and my dad was like this. So when you pray, Obinayo, this uh, hand movement and MBA, you will collapse. This is your entire <laughs> confidence gelled together. Now stand by, you're on air in five, four, three, two. My name is Rosa Orgesa from Moore University, Eldoret, and I'm here to present about the worst day of my life. The beauty of life is the uncertainty of tomorrow. One thing I learned the bitter way. With a phone call, I learned that I had lost my best friend. And through Facebook, it was verified. A day that I will live to remember, for it shattered my heart into a thousand pieces. I admire her composure and her diction. I loved that she was courageous but she was talking about something emotional and I really wanted to feel it. It's only that I didn't. You did well in terms of content. You had the confidence to speak to camera and I think they picked out what I also picked out. The, um, we did not connect. You know, your whole, uh, you communicate through your gestures, you communicate through your demeanor, you communicate through your words. Uh, we only had your mouth communicating. Everything else stood still. At first I thought, why did I volunteer? I was scared and I thought of running back and sitting on my seat. Then I was like, I have to do this, it's, I have to be courageous. During my presentation, I was more focused on don't cry, don't cry, no, don't cry, you're going to be on TV, do not cry. So I decided to shut, to shut down my emotions 
and at the front i was not going to say you're not going to cry so <laughs> thinking or focusing so much on not going to break down made me lose my focus As everybody took a minute to get their composure, Top Story received an International Media Literacy Award and we headed to Paris to collect it. Congratulations, Joseph. In a nationwide survey, three quarters of the audience said they found the show gave them a deeper understanding of how media works and the importance of quality journalism. We've just won the Silver Award, the Global News Media Prize Award. And what this award means to us, it's just recognition, recognition of our talent, our hard work, our journalistic instincts, and everything that we put into the Top Story Challenge. Uh, we have interacted with uh, so many people from the CNN, BBC, the France 24, etc. So now that we have our award, it's time to have a bit of fun. We have to do some touring around the city. We have to visit the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, Notre Dame. This is on three contestants. I wish you all the best. Be the best version of yourself that you can be. And just have fun and good luck. And hopefully you will win the competition and you'll be able to go to Doha. The couples, here's your assignment. I'm giving you two minutes to prepare an introduction to your television breakfast show. It was my first time on, uh, live on air. And he had already told me in advance that it was his first time, so um, he let me go first so that he can get comfortable. On air in five, four, three, two. Good morning, Kenya. I am Mary Nyokabi. And I'm Walter Koech. And welcome to our breakfast show. The Coffee Talk, where we entertain you, educate you, and inspire you. <laughs> Koesh, have you ever been on air before? Now no kokona boil boil. But you've done well. Mary, let's try Asante Koesh. Let me take over from you. I don't know Mary, Karibia hapa. A very good morning Kenya. My name is Joseph Farongo and My name is Mary Nyokabi and welcome to our talk. Right here in the studio today we've got the best entrepreneurs in Kenya. We've got When we say the best, we mean Maina Kageni. And, and it's not just Maina Kageni. We've also got Jeff Koenange, who's into a boiled, boiled chicken, boiled eggs, and some crazy stuff that he's making money from. Don't tell them too much. I, 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 sorry, my mouth is too loud. I can't do it. <laughs> Would you watch that show? Yes. Of course. That was quite fun. But then it was back to serious business. I don't know what take this is. Take eight. 15 years ago in 3 2 with the recent ah, with the recent kazi ya mwana habari ni kuhakikisha kuwa taarifa zinazomfikia mtazamaji nyumbani ni za ukweli na uhakika time man yeah last time of course after every task as is the norm the contestants would face a panel of judges to know their fate i hear you had a serious mishap that could have costed you a place absolutely How do you think that affected your result? It it really affected it because it uh, affected our time. We were running out of time and we still now didn't have a laptop and didn't know what to do. We submitted our work late because each and everything that we used had problem from laptop, flash disk, the charger to the laptop, the cameras. Like Cape University, I'm so sorry. Technical University Mombasa I'm also so sorry you didn't beat the competition you crushed the competition congratulations you'll make it through thank you thank you so much like in this case kati hapo alafu india today it has been intense 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 but uh you can't wait for the outcome to be great Kenyatta University what inspired the drama at the beginning of your presentation breaking news a lifeless body has been found on the shores of Mombasa following a shipwreck the locals informed authority that oh when we when we thought of the idea of fake news uh, we wanted to bring in the idea that um, even journalists do do fake news and the idea was to just bring in the aspect of fake news in journalism sometimes and then bring in the aspect of 
of later on saying that whereas some can be obvious like in the shot you could see that the man who was supposedly dead actually woke up Kenyatta University I'm sorry you've been eliminated in three two action this video has been doing rounds on social media that this ambulance is quite funny. who wrote the script we all did it was a good attempt but I felt like you Paragraphs were too long, including the intro. I also didn't find context in your intro, but I loved the way you verified your debunking tools. Kemunto, I believe you can be a very good presenter. Only the top stories that are done eloquently and professionally get on air. However, both teams make it through. <laughs> <laughs> The university that is going to go home, unfortunately, is Kisi University. Nibs, you have qualified. I think you should stay. Multimedia University, congratulations. Thank you. You, you will probably scream. This thing is just too much in us, and we just want to do it. You used small letters at the beginning of your sentences. Did you even take time to look at your work before you submitted? I guess the deadline was pushing us harder. You know you can be fast and efficient at the same time. We really want to give our best, so we woke up very early to do, you know, a research on the video. But we are, you know, we are trying to actually be able to deliver as per the assignment requirement and to also stay in the competition. Comrade Power. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> You have to show some oomph, come on guys. Comrade Power. Power. Your scripting was very technical. I was lost somewhere in the middle towards the end. When we first met, my conversation with you was about sound not being the stepchild. Sound being part and parcel of video. How could you repeat the same mistake? How could you fall for the same devil? What happened in a newsroom, you will not have time to give us excuses. I think you should go home based on that. This is tough. You both qualify. <gasps> <laughs> oh yeah, you can give each other a hug then. <sighs> From 17 universities, we were left with only 12 who would battle it out for a spot in the semi-finals. Next week on Top Story. So kwamba mugriama yoyote anakuwa awekewe kigango. by training them in fish farming. It's tough on my back, joints, and can cause headaches. Panadol Extra relieves multiple types of pain. If symptoms persist, seek medical advice. Dad, Abu told me that his dad is retiring. What about you? Are you going to retire? As long as people travel, I'll never retire. And people will never stop traveling. Never? Never. International travel has been suspended until further notice. The directive comes as many Are you going to retire now? 2020 showed us to never say never. Ensure your happiness with APA. Should never ever happen. Who taught you that one retire?
Sky is a sisterhood of teen girls from across Kenya. We are all about being true to ourselves and what we believe in. From fashion and music to school and our friends, we celebrate the things we love and support each other in the sisterhood. You can be a Sky Girl too. Just go to skygirlske.com and take the pledge. Follow up on Instagram and Facebook at skygirlske. It is from the first loan that we got from Equity that actually we started growing. And I was able to buy a wheat milling machine. And even after a short time, the first trader. It was amazing because that was the first trader in Kangari. In March last year, actually I traveled to China to look for a bigger machine which would do 100 metric tons in 24 hours. If we didn't get the funding from Equity, the COVID pandemic would have been a big hit to us. I'm now expecting a machine. During this pandemic, they called me. Do you want to shed your room? I told them, let me try to push it until when I feel I will not be able to. Do not think small, think big. And I can see our dream coming true. We say, if you want to be helped, join equity. Do your gums hurt? Yeah. Does your toothpaste contain sage, eucalyptus, mer, chamomile? All that in one toothpaste? Yes, try Colgate Herbal. Colgate Herbal contains nature's best herbs and Colgate's fluoride technology to give you strong teeth and healthy gums. Ah, Colgate Herbal. Let's go. Colgate Herbal for strong teeth and healthy gums naturally. Let's go Kenya. I want to encourage uh, all people in Kenya to visit uh, the national parks, uh, game parks, uh, conservancies, and make sure they experience uh, uh, what's happening in the conservancies and in, and in our national parks. TV turning on your world. The following program has been rated GE. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello and welcome to Nighttime Tales. My name is Grace Kirapa, and today we are reading the book Keeper and his special nursery. This book was written by Yusla Nafula and Nina Orange and illustrated by Margaret Brink. This is the story of Keeper and his nursery for orphaned animals. Do you know what an orphaned animal is? It is a young animal who doesn't have parents. This means that Keeper has to take care of all these animals so they will grow up and be big and strong. Last month was a busy month at the nursery. The first one to arrive at the nursery was a one-year-old Nomsa. Can you see what animal Nomsa is? That's right, Nomsa is an elephant. She was thin and sad. But soon, Nomsa got stronger and she began to play with all the other animals. Can you see who Numsa is playing with? That's right, Numsa is playing football with a giraffe and rhinoceros. On another day, that month, a helicopter landed at the nursery. In the helicopter was a small elephant under a big blanket. Her name was Niwa. Niwa was five days old and Keeper fed Niwa with a bottle. One night, Everybody was woken up by the arrival of Ambia, a giraffe. Ambia was five months old. She was weak after her long journey. Because of her long neck, Kipa held the bottle high to feed Ambia. Can you see where Kipa is sitting to feed Ambia? That's right, Kipa is sitting in a tree to make Ambia stretch her long neck. 
The last orphans to arrive that month were three hungry cubs. Their names were Copy, Cappy, and Kaji. Can you see what animal Copy, Cappy, and Kaji are? That's right. Copy, Cappy, and Kaji are cheetahs. Keeper and his helpers love all the other animals, even the naughty ones. Oh no! What has the naughty monkey got in his hand? That's right, the naughty monkey has taken the keeper's glasses. How will the keeper be able to see now? The people at the nursery work really hard. And they hope that one day all the orphans can look after themselves and then these animals can return to the wild. That's the end of my story. And this book teaches us that we should take care of the orphans amongst us. We should feed them, give them a place to stay and also love them because we all need some love. Thank you so much for staying with us and see you next time. Good night. find independence by training them in fish farming. Oh, it's tough on my back, joints, and can cause headaches. Panadol Extra relieves multiple types of pain. If symptoms persist, seek medical advice. For a better tomorrow, don't forget to do the 1, 2, 3 with Colgate every night. Mix of the Week in association with Airtel. This is a short deal. Completely transparent. Okay. <laughs> if only all things in life were as honest as Airtel's amazing data, get 500 MB free daily. Switch to Airtel and save. The Honest Network. When the world changed, it made us go back to the simple joys and love the little things even more. Like serving up your best, eating together, and sharing more. Now, oh, we'll take nothing for granted. And always remember to taste the simple joys. Coca-Cola. Taste the simple joys. From far with you, mm. I even gifted you a magnificent house. Hmm. Rosa, it's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. Please help me. When it comes to fever, you need to be both. Panadol Baby and Infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Panadol Baby and Infant, tough on fever, gentle on your child. With the Stay Soft Refill, saving money is as easy as snip, pour, mix with water and shake. Stay Soft Refill, it's 2 litres of Stay Soft for up to 30% less. fast with Sensodyne Rapid Action for clinically proven relief in 60 seconds. I help women find independence by training them in fish farming. Oh, it's tough on my back, joints and can cause headaches. Panadol Extra relieves multiple types of pain. Panadol Extra, now with new Optizob technology to fight multiple tough pains with three times more pain relieving medicine in the first 30 minutes when you need it most. Seeing them support themselves makes any pain worth it. If symptoms persist, seek medical advice. Boy! Get a party! Small party. Hey, Leo, I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. Hi, everyone. 
Welcome to the ITEL online launch. My name is MC Desi. And we'd like to tell you more about the ITEL brand. New ITEL. STT series. 6.3 dot notch screen. AI 72.3 gallery door. 2GB data bundle. ITEL TV. The earbuds. IFB 11. Super slim power. The extension screen. Let's join ITEL to enjoy a better life. Cementing the nation's future. Simba Cement, the strength and pride of Kenya. Now also produced in Nakuru and Mombasa. NTV, turning on your world. The following program has been rated PG. It may contain...